I think everyone in the UK should boycott Netflix. I certainly will be once I finish The Crown and Emily in Paris. I was sitting there just in my underwear. I was literally boiling with rage, watching two young people laughing and enjoying each other's company. That's not what marriage is about, and I should know. I've had three. Apparently, they just want to be happy. Well, I'm sorry, this is the United Kingdom. That's just not how we do things. It's absolutely appalling that Harry and Meghan are forcing the press to write about them all of the time. We don't want to. No, they make us. It's a form of bullying, really. Yeah, in many ways, the real victims are the press. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there are so many other things we want to be writing about, but no, we have to write about them. They're so selfish. Race has nothing to do with it. I didn't even know she wasn't white, you know, but I have to say the first time I saw her, I did think, hmm, this one's going to be trouble. You know, I could just tell there was something about her, you know, she was different. You know, it's got nothing to do with race. No, um, you know, she was American. You know, I could tell just by looking at her from a distance. Look, if she can't respect our sacred, ancient tradition of curtsying to an old woman because of which family she is from, then I'm sorry, I think she maybe deserves everything she gets. White people take royalty very seriously. We know our place and we never joke about it. That's our culture. And if you can't respect that, then you're being racist. I've seen some people claiming that Meghan was being self-deprecating and showing a sense of humour about the royal family. <laughs> I'm sorry, self-deprecating and sense of humour? Where do you think you are? Germany? We never make jokes about the royal family. Even the actual paedophiles. Meghan seems to think that the press were out to destroy her. It's ridiculous. I barely even think about her. She's just irrelevant. And that's something I've made clear in all three of the books I've written about her and in my daily Meg blog. I agree with that MP. We should strip them of their titles and strip them of their money uh, and actually just strip them completely, you know, uh, and, uh, and then maybe cover them in oil and watch them sort of naked and writhing around. Sorry, I just need a minute. I knew Princess Diana. Over many years, I shouted literally dozens of words at Princess Diana, and I'll tell you something for a fact, Meghan is no Princess Diana. I don't fancy her for a start. She's not even blonde. In the end, the best plan is simply to ignore them and hopefully they'll just go away. Now, if you'll excuse me, a woman who once did Meghan's nails has just tweeted that she has weird fingers, so I need to write a thousand words on that before lunch. Why won't they leave me alone?